Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Virtual Skills and I am Latiful Bari with you. In this video, I will show you the best way to do keyword research using the free version of Google Keyword Planner. At first, I will recommend you to change the Google search setting, especially when you are working for a client from different location and language. Just click on setting here. From here, you can change the language according to your client And from here you can change the region. If you are optimizing your own business, just keep it current region. Otherwise, change it according to your client location for getting best results. You can also use a VPN. Ok now, just search for a targeted and related keyword for your business, which can describe your products and services. In this part, we will collect some suggested keywords from Google to work with Google Keyword Planner. You can see here, I am getting some additional keyword suggestions as I am using Keyword Everywhere browser extension. If you want, you can try it, but it's not needed. In this step, we will just collect the Google search suggestion from the bottom. You should collect as much as possible but at least 10 targeted long tail keywords. Click on different keywords and collect search suggestion from the bottom like before. Well, after having a keyword list like this, you need to move on to ads.google.com. Now click on sign in. If you are having trouble to use Google Keyword Planner free version, you can check the video in the description. You can see here there is no campaign and no data. Well, it's a free account. Now click on tools and settings here and then keyword planner. Now click on discover new keywords. Now copy some of your best keywords that you have collected. Remember not more than 10 keywords. Paste it here and click on get results. Well this is our interface of Google Keyword Planner free version. If you have a Google Ads page account and a running campaign then you will see the exact search amount, not the search range like 1k to 10k. However, if you know the right way to use Google Keyword Planner then it's not a big deal. From here you can short out the monthly average search by just clicking it. In fact, you can short out every column like this. Your target should be the keywords with low competition and highest search results. Well, these are some good keywords to start optimizing your business. You should always avoid the highly competitive keywords for organic traffic in initial stage. You can also filter this keyword data manually. Click on this funnel icon. Now click on any of this option, like competition. I am selecting the low and medium only. So the high competitive keywords will be gone from this list. Now let's sort out the refine keyword option. You need to understand that if you are doing keyword research for a PPC campaign, then the brand keyword can play a vital role here. But if you are just optimizing your new website for organic traffic, then you should avoid brand keyword because most of them are highly authority site and it's very difficult to outrank them. Well, let's move on to the event option. This seems targeted. I will keep them as default. Ok, let's narrow down the data with location now. Just click on here. We are doing it for Los Angeles. You can add here multiple location if your business serves there. But I will recommend you build different keyword list targeting single location. Now you can see the city options appear. Again, it depends on your business. You should sort out your location very carefully. Now we will add some more keywords for getting some more related keywords idea. As I told before that you can use maximum 10 keywords at a time to discover keyword ideas. Now let's sort out the data with time frame. 
click on dates here usually it shows the search data for one year in default but you can filter it by one month but i would love to go with custom date setting let's make it three months for a better up to date keyword data now these are all good keywords to optimize your website they are up to date highly targeted by location and have low competition now let me show you another thing from here you can also modify your column if you don't want any of this column data just click to uncheck it if you don't understand it what it is just hover over and read the information that google serves you i would love to keep it as default now if you are happy with your research job then click on download option here as you can see you can download it in csv file and also in google sheet well now i will show you a great trick to find the best keywords for your business i mean it is kind of shortcut and a very effective and easy method just search one of your main keywords on google now choose a competitor site with the lowest page authority and domain authority by the help of most extension bar now open the website copy the link go back to your keyword planner click on discover keyword ideas now paste the url here and this time search for a broad keyword like this here you can see it is a list of 185 keywords this website is targeting and they are highly targeted now if you go for the low competition keyword it will be easy to outrank you need not to do anything here just download this data now click on keyword ideas here again this time click on start with website here if you want to analyze a specific website page you should choose this but i would love to go with the entire page option here you can see these are the most targeted long tail keywords which are easy to outrank as this website is with the lowest authority of Google first page result. You should consider them as the titles of a couple of good articles to boost your website rank. Well thank you so much guys for watching this video, please subscribe my channel and just stay tuned.